fighters ready. Engage. It's okay. God, if his brain bounced against the paper. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just give me two weeks and a few extra upgrades, and I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Get Howard, to work on that for you. Howard, oh yeah, <laughs> Howard, everybody's favorite oh, stoner boy. Jesus, I a, love Howard. Oh, me too. Well, Howard's the shit. I love that guy. Uh, I was gonna say, um, you want to talk about insane? In one of the Super Robot Wars games that had Wing and Double O, they claimed oh. that they originally designed one Gundam to have Zero System and Twin and the Twin Drive. Oh yeah, Z two. But they, yeah, the Twin. Uh, that's in uh, Z two. Apparently, the uh, doctors were former celestial being scientists. Super Robot Wars, ladies and gentlemen. I love that. Everything. Look, Everything. Look, SRW, I stand by this, and people don't believe me. Zero Rhymer and Idion were the most broken units I've ever laid my eyes on. Yeah. Yeah, they should Yo, be. Yeah, well, 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 well Zeo Rhymer was damn. broken for a host of reasons. Idion was broken because of one thing, Idion Gun. I'm gonna back up to the edge of the map, infinite range, map attack, good night. I'm, 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 I cleared the stage by myself. And then destroy it. Is, like like is there's this game called, uh, what is it, uh, Battle Robot Damashi for the PSP. And it's basically all the things that are like Robot Spirits line, and it's designed the same way as the Gundam Battle Universe games, only with, you know, non-Gundam series. It has Ideon in it, and it is the most terrible unit, and I hated that they did that to it. Because they made it, like, so slow and giant that everything just hits it and destroys it. I mean, well, how can you even hit it? I mean, like, how do you destroy Ideon with the friggin' Gurren Mark II from Geass? I, mean, wrong. I, love Lewis, but... I, I was just thinking about it like canically for a second. You couldn't destroy the Ideon in the first place because it would destroy everything in the universe. If details, it details. Yeah, yeah, don't get that Coliseum mindset. It's not going to take you anywhere. There was one SRW game where the mission failure for every other mission where you had Ideon was if Ideon dies, it's game over. It's game over, yeah, it blows yeah. the universe. Well, that's the right. as well. That sounds like I'm free again anyway, so. I mean, well, Alpha also... 3 fixed that where Ideon could die and you could not lose yeah, the game. Like so, bro, don't well, wanna, huh? Then you also had that with um, God Mars because in God Mars, he's got a bomb inside him that goes off and destroys the Earth. Oh, right. Come on. Oh my God, I got hey, nuke well, too? Oh, what the fuck? God Mars can still not even die if you're on non-Earth missions on that game too. Like, if it dies on any mission, you just lose. Yes, you lose. He's, he's basically got a dead man switch hooked up to the entire planet. Yeah. yeah, there's like, oh, dude. I don't know, I, I never found too much what of a reason to fuck? kill the god <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so you caught that Hadouken laser, didn't you? I'm eating lasers and nukes <laughs> all over the place. The Who burger, was that? The, oh my The Jesus. Burger King came out to beat me. my ass. Oh, yeah, you got <laughs> the Burger King came out to beat my ass, and then I Yo. got I got I got my chest wetted up. The Burger King <laughs> doesn't come out until Fred's there and uses that stupid ability. But Soul Bro, come on, you gotta wake up with the king. Oh my! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, fucking, oh, okay. I, I could I could go for a sandwich right now. Boy. Oh my! God. Wait, 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 wait! He's waking up next to Saji. <laughs> Super <laughs> not rights. I sorry, so bro, I can no longer cheer you on as Fred Rex is picking the proper characters. <laughs> <laughs> I'll accept Master that. Asia and Domon. Is I'll, that it? I'll accept oh, that. Lord, it's 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 uh Dragon Ball Z Gundam time. Let's go. I love that show. Me too. Just by the way, I the think best. since Gundam's on the hiatus the rest of the year, maybe Chris will come up one of these days anyway though. Oh maybe. Over here? I, I, Chris, I, I mean, Chris Guanche, not Chris as in, you know. Oh, right. okay. Maybe one of these days you will. Because he'll be a little bit I less think busy. he was expressing interest in getting Actually, full no, no, we gotta get down hate on this. That's what I heard as well, anyway. But, you know. Well, didn't he yeah, say that when we recorded the uh, Wing yeah, Mock episode, yeah, we're, guys? we're all talking about full boost, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna pick it up. Wait, doesn't Austin have the game, too? Oh, I, yeah. I, I, I have no idea what Austin's, uh... He does, he does, because I remember Chris talking about it once. And how he was teaching Austin about having the uh, Strike Noir and all that, so... Yeah, we gotta get him on this. As far as I can say, Austin doesn't have internet, because he won't, he won't tell me what his uh, PlayStation uh, ID is. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh my god. To, I'm to hoping go that back. Uh, when I get this game, the connection won't be terrible. It's got good netcode. Yeah, I mean, it's but for good. someone living in America, yeah. I mean... Where do you live, sir? Oh gosh. Well, I live in uh, Louisiana. Oh, yeah, you're not too far from us. I live in Michigan. But oh, you guys must be in, like, Texas or something. I'm, I'm over here I mean, in Orlando. we play with Australians, and we do pretty fine with Yeah, them. yeah, Varnus and, yeah. Uh, uh, and Robin are both from Australia. And um, and, and we don't hold that against them. <laughs> yeah, man, I can't hold against prisoners. I don't either. I'm sorry. You know. uh, I need them to uh, fight back the spider. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Say it was from the spider there. holocaust. Well, spiders are the least of the problems sometimes anyway, though, down here anyway. <laughs> I mean, even you got cassowaries, giant killer birds and lights. Koalas. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> 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 you guys got the drop bears out there still? Yep, they're, they're evolved forms of koalas, so... Yeah. Follow the spiders, oh, why couldn't it have been follow the butterflies? You guys have mega koalas? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, they mega oh, evolved to koalas. That sounds like the most horrifying thing probably... ever created by nature. You should probably ask Vinus, because he lives more out in the bush than me, I think, anyway, so... You should probably ask him for experiences anyway. Oh, yeah, well, wait for the toilet spin. This, this is oh dear, right. we got a, we got a Zygon. She should not be losing to the Lego. This 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 is not this this shit ain't canon, yo. <laughs> Wait, Dallas is what frozen, is? dude. Are you really telling me cool. that Andrew Weldfeld is a worse pilot than friggin' Hathaway Noah? No way. Uh, oh no. If you yeah, want to think about this shit ain't canon, look at the first episode of Build Fighters. Hathaway's Can't. just a terrorist. Oh no. All right. Does anyone like Bill Fighters? I love oh, that show. I love yeah. Bill Fighters. I anyone really complain about that show. Even on it's YouTube, interesting. That, I know. I, 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 it's just, ooh, you caught the shine of finger to the back of the head. <laughs> That's fine. I, 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 I already wish that. Oh my god, god, Fred. Get, get your ass here now. Bomb Fred, I'm about to oh, murder god. you. Let's like, go. Let's, man, let's it's go. It's a lot when oh, I'm going to Damn it. Bill Fighters. <laughs> oh my god, Blaze, what are you doing, Blaze? No, oh. Damn it. Oh. I didn't even win the match. <laughs> I think the reason Build Fighters works is because it's a Gundam show where everything isn't all dark and moody and serious. Yeah, and, and yes. it's, not, it's not something you have to take seriously. It's it is it is it's, it's it's exactly age, so. it's exactly like that little speech Ral gave in episode was it six or so? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, because it isn't a show about people risking their lives, you can have fun with it. Yeah, it's yep. and it's um. Think, go ahead. Uh, I said uh, it's uh. What's it called? What's the other show that came out before it? Uh, hey, uh, yeah. Builders. Builders. yeah, if that shit didn't came out, it probably would have been worse. Mm -hmm. The reaction. Wait, uh, the mage? No, 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 no uh, I think Gunpla Builders, because that it, the concept already came out, so yeah, people aren't surprised by well, it much anymore. No. By putting Ramba and you know just. Like, that's a stamp of, hey, we understand what we're doing here. It's just a chance for mecha fans to see mecha stuff. Your mech, like, I never thought I'd get to see Wing Gundam and Tiny P. Yeah, see, that's that's the same yeah. thing I feel. It's, it's it's a victory lap through all these different Gundam series that we've... I mean, we've, we've seen stuff like Crossbones, the, the Sentinel, something from G-Unit, all animated thanks to this show. Even if it's just yeah. cameos. Even the G I got to see the guy in yeah. yeah. brush my dream. Yeah. It's definitely yeah. the breath of fresh air the franchise show needed. Cool absolutely, man. Robert. Absolutely. Oh, I love the show. Okay. I love the God, show. Gundam's going down. <laughs> you know, I, love the I, always, I always wonder why they chose to go with the uh, Strike Woo! Gundam as the, main, as the, like, the main mech he uses instead of something else. Well, it's well, popular in Japan, totally and it's got a lot strike of is super customizability. Oh, yeah, Wait, Strike uh, is super popular in Japan? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. They love C, I mean, uh, or I mean, especially C Destiny. In general, oh, they yeah. really it's love Destiny in Japan. Yeah. I didn't well, know. Well, I never knew like, the most popular Gundam in Japan. I never looked into that. That's a, that's a toss-up right there. Uh, actually... Cause like I know here in America or, or, or over here, most of most of my friends and people I talk to over here, the Gundam they watched the most was Gun to Wing because of Tsunami. Yeah, yeah. 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 because of Tsunami, mm -hmm. and they hated. I know. Yeah, in Japan it was a whole different ball game, man. And Destiny was actually very well liked. It's um, at Double O wasn't as liked as what we would think it would be. Um, really? Age was hated across the board. 
Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Yep. Uh, Bear in mind, there's a lot, a lot of it boils down to cultural differences. Like, yeah. one of the big examples I see people talk about is if you know Bleach, the character Momo Hinamori, mm. she's hated in the West, but the Japanese love her because she represents the ideal of a devoted, loyal woman. Mm -hmm. The the thing about Wing Two is like it represents a lot. Like they really tried with European themes in that show, and then seeing it has just some really like anime looking characters that I guess people in the West don't care for. Well, I know Maybe that a, uh, a lot of people over here, that, like down here in Louisiana stuff, like they love Gundam Wing, G Gundam, and Gundam Double O a lot. No one hates G Gundam. They better not. You You'd be surprised. <laughs> you would be surprised. Like, years ago, that was not the story. Oh no! Yeah, I know. yeah. yeah years ago, that was not. With the guys who like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No. But what it's worth, I know two friends who like seen, but uh... did I hit the ally? Did I really only hit you, Amro? Uh, you might have. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I have your sword, and all I hit is my ally. Bullshit. That, <laughs> That's fucked now up. Now you know. Wait, into this thing. Now you know what happens with my buster rifle. I fire an enemy, like he leaves. My my ally chasing that enemy goes into the beam like, path. No. There, so I just hit you with my shot lancer. So you know we're even now. Team and God. you know I'm I'm not so sure about Dark. Destiny's popularity in Japan because uh. I was looking around on Amazon Japan once and uh, a lot of the Destiny DVDs had. Uh, Reviews and up in the hundreds, and most of them were pretty negative. Really? Maybe, maybe oh. it's just C generally and not it, Destiny. Yeah, it might well, be C uh, general. I know, like, Kira and Lacus are extremely popular in Japan. Okay, and, and, you know, yeah. Yeah. That's, in America, it's a mixed bag. That's what I think it is. Uh, I've I think, seen more Kira fanboys actually more than anything else, actually. I think C got popular not because of the story not because of the care or i mean not because of the mecca or anything else but because people like the characters for whatever odd reason uh, and i actually I don't mind kira and seed but yeah kira I mean, has yeah. personality in seed seed itself wasn't bad it's mostly just destiny that i have complaints over yeah That's i need to go rewatch that i'm a <laughs> The biggest I actually have not seen a single episode of Destiny. I never got around to watching it. Once for 14 and 30, that's it. Two. Well, the Destiny remaster episodes are available for free on YouTube, so... Yeah, if oh you want to watch, uh, watch uh, upstairs yeah, all day. We all did. I mean, I'm not trying to start the whole Destiny debate all over, but I think the key problem was they tried doing a story where you have two groups of protagonists fighting each other, and that is a, bad, that is a can of worms right there. Actually, I agree with uh, you. If you guys ever played the game Generation of Cosmic Era, they had like a little prototype or a little like, like a little what if story about what might have happened before the whole story got shifted. So there's something. Oh, uh, you mean the uh, what the Generation of CE? Yeah. Yeah, I've been hearing the rumors Fuck. that supposedly one of the endings in that thing was the originally intended it, but I never Oops, heard which. Amusing, one. nonetheless. You say yeah. groups of protagonists fighting each other, but that's exactly what 0080 did so Woo! fucking perfectly. Well, it's hard to do. It's not impossible. Uh, what? I mean, oh, yeah. the thing is, it probably... was only six oh, episodes. Oh, 0080 is worn a pocket, huh? The one yeah. with uh, yeah. Alex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It probably yeah, I mean, worked. Well, the you gotta look at, you gotta look at that one, though, because 0080 was more of a, a drama, but it, it wasn't as dark as... As other wow. stories. Actually, Double Eighty is and not dark, actually. I would double say it's Double O Eighty has a sad tone, but it's serious? not dark. And it's right, it, it's drama, yeah, but it's not yeah, dark. That, that's why. It's not, that's why it's, fine. it's not fatalistic the way stuff like Victory, victory could be. Like, like Victory it would be, yeah. And I, I actually, haven't even touched you know, Victory. Woo! The fact that Bernie <laughs> went back to fight the Alex, even though he could have run away, it's it's definitely got a more. I don't know. Well, not some. What's the word I'm looking for? I'm sorry, my my brain's not. Hello, working. dramatic. No, no, it's up. It's the positive, optimistic. That's the word. Ah, it's a more optimistic look at humanity because it's showing, if put into this kind of situation, an average guy will choose the right thing. That was not the right I thing. Think, uh... Bernie's decision making was stupid. <laughs> oh, you really get a crap on the Bernie. No, no, no like, ladies, Bernie, so. he did a, Wait, he did a good thing trying to be nice. Is it the Wayne fanboy? Hey, hey, hey. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. I love 0080, but you gotta hear me out. Like, Bernie, he could have stopped the nuke and not turned into hamburger. He could have just gone to the authorities and been a fucking snitch. You're gonna be a snitch! What would you rather yeah. be? The nuke got intercepted, remember? But he didn't know that, but he could have gone to authorities and said, hey, this is the plan I know about. But his comrades died yeah. because of that, so he had to like live. No, up his to comrades that. died because they attacked a Gundam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good point. Uh, all right, guys, I got two uh, more matches and I'm done. But uh, the history of Gundam's attacks in colonies does not bode well for Xeon forces. Uh, yeah, you know, not, that, not that, usually. That reminds me of that terrible, no? terrible Gundam game, um, Gundam Xeonic uh, front. front. Oh wow, not that bad. Come on. Eh. It's hard. No, it's so so like, in Gundam Xeonic Front, I could take out every unit. The minute the Gundam came, I got one shot it. It was a yeah, wreck. I love that about it. I, I like yeah. it because hey, it felt like the Gundam was an actual <laughs> threat. Yeah. That's why it's called the White Devil. <laughs> the yeah, White but, Devil? You, well, no, it was a threat unless you, you got behind that magic rock. Thing. You would run into the Gundam and it would kill you in one bullet. And that, yeah. that's yeah. it. Well, I mean, well, yeah, but if you watch the show. Like piloting a grunt. If you watch the show, he kills plenty of Zaku's in one shot. Yeah, but when I'm playing a game, I don't like the feeling of having an enemy one shot me. I can understand that, but sometimes people want the realistic stuff. Don't pick up yeah, Dark Souls. I, I, you know, I always oh, wanted. Oh, no, 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 no. Dark Souls is different. At least I can do something about it in Dark Souls. In Xeonic Front, it's like run at your slow pace and try to get away from a beam rifle that's but, but it coming so at your forehead. When you take it down like that, you know? What? Yeah, you, you take it down five hours later? Young, you never like it with a beam weapon. That's post game. You don't even get beam weapons in the game. Well, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about it coming at uh, you. With like beam Sandra's Dom has a prototype beam rifle. Yeah, I'm saying that's like that's the post game though. I think it is, anyway. I can't remember, it's been too long. Yeah, I, I don't want to play the game again. Fuck. You know, oh, always, It wasn't my always, cup of tea. I, don't know, I, I just kept wondering this about Gundam. Isn't a hero's uh, beam cannon like the strongest? Oh, there's the 150 meter. Is uh, it a beam a rifle and fan. zero? The, the satellite cannon is more powerful. Oh, oh yeah. come on. I, I will say this about the zero cannon. Like, it stopped quote unquote axis in the form of Libra, and there was no. Everybody get together and get out and push. Mm. Well, yeah. Not like being the manga version, right? <laughs> Where they did the spirit bomb buster rifle. Oh, dear God. Are spirit we talking about the manga stuff? version of, of Char's counterattack or Wing? No, the manga version of Wing. <laughs> we don't. I don't want to think rifle. about that. Sorry. He doesn't want to think about anything that will diminish Wing. That's why we can't bring up Frozen Teardrop. <laughs> That's why we can't bring up the Epion. No, 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 that's a different catalog. We do not talk about that anymore. <laughs> Robo Lizard, for, go ahead. No, you that's don't. Right. Go ahead, I know. It's a Robo Lizard for you. I'm doing random. So for my last match, random mode it is. But uh, here we go. Oh, and I get the RX78. Mother. I've been sitting out also anyway as well. But anyway, that rickety old RX78. But next match, next match. Here's the unicorn. We, that, we were that talking about. Fucking destroys me, then jumps back and just lands in a satellite. Yeah. <laughs> we were mentioning a uh, 0080, but like some of, the, I feel like some of the best Gundams ever were Eighth M S K and 0080 and 0083 because they got oh, away from the childhood yeah, magic that's... stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah. They, they, they would have down to actual warfare. Too. I know, I know plenty of people who despise Eighth M S team because they say. The whole Romeo and Juliet thing made it too unrealistic. Uh, I, mean, I missed the director, man. That guy knew how, how to do team battles. Okay. The I mean, what? It is unfortunate. Yeah. yeah, it is. The Easy Eight beating a goof with its arm is the best thing ever. I don't care about Romeo and Juliet. Oh, yeah, you can do that in the game too. <laughs> I, I still have to wonder. I mean, I know his arm was out of commission, but why didn't he just reach for the beam saber, which he has like one scene later? Probably, Why yeah, did he go for his arm? The arm was paralyzed because of um. Well, no, I know it was paralyzed, but he still. You see in the scene right after that, he has the beam saber in his hand, so obviously. Shit! I think it was because really? he went nuts. God damn I'm, it! Like he does that speech right then of like I'm gonna live and I'm gonna marry Ina, and he he drops the whole like fight for my my friends thing because he just fucking snaps, and I like that. I lose like, 
Well, I, it was a good scene. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just wondering why he chose to use his arm rather than. I just think that's because they were trying to illustrate that he completely fucking snapped. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's, that's that you're gonna die you're gonna die that's now the way so, like, if I have to you know use my own arm to kill you you will die the main protagonist gave up his values for two seconds like completely went berserk not like in a I'm an overpowered badass hero Yui Wait, or Kira Yamato way what values war he was no the, 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 he uh, was the one always Alpha pushing Shrike about like attempts. everyone's coming back alive yeah, and that like when he when the power was out in his suit, he was like, "This this fighting for your friends crap. Who am I to say this? I just want to live." I was gonna say earlier, it was interesting that when you think about when you um, uh, Logan was saying about the Buster rifle and all that, though, you think about it, the Wing Gundam, it's fairly destructive. It's rifle, then Wing Zero, uh -huh. double twin rifles together. Uh -huh. Then by X it goes satellite cannon, which is stronger. Then the double X, which is even twice as strong again. So they keep upping the firepower all the time, though. And then moonlight butterfly, lol. Yeah, eventually in turn is X. Is it so moonlight butterfly? Then then it's like scorched with the earth double end of everything. It's uh, it's what they call black goo nano machines, which is <laughs> destroys everything. Nice. Well, fellas, man, it has been an outstanding session of EX versus the Gundam Nation, man. I couldn't ask for a better session. You guys really came through, and uh, we had could have been for a better session. You could have won more. Oh, you know, I could, I, I, I could have won more, yes. But uh, I, I think I fared a little bit better than I did the last time we played. So I, 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 I take it with a. With a little bit of a, a I guess it's a bittersweet thing for me but uh no nah, man I, I had a, an outstanding time and um I want to thank each and every one of you guys for coming out tonight and um uh being on the stream and playing uh playing with us in the game everybody who was here earlier that had to leave as well like Eric uh many shout outs to him and um uh, and and also to uh Robo Lizard who couldn't get on Skype but he also played with us here but everybody who participated man many thanks and we'll be doing this again very soon it'll be on Yazi's already gone as well though Yazi, Yazi left shout out to Yazi88 no no I'm still here oh Yazi's here oh shit well Yazi thank you for Still's being here on my list <laughs> on my list it's weird but for, for everybody who wants to know we're, the next oh, wow. session the next session of this is on December 20th uh, Friday right. and it's going to be at 11pm EST and um, there'll be information posted up at gundam.net where you can also check out our podcast um, you can do that, and um, I hope you guys come out for that one too. I want as many people Absolutely. to I want as many people to come out and play. And it does suck that this game only has eight people, but um, doesn't the new one have twelve in the lobby? I does believe? it? Does it really? Holy! I believe it does, dude. That's awesome. Oh, I wow. hope so. Yes, it is. That would be amazing if that's true. And I, I should if, test it then or something. Man, dude, I'm looking forward to that because that would definitely help us out. Yeah, I'm not gonna be playing that anyway. I'm gonna practice first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I think everyone's gonna, yeah. everyone's gonna be just, uh, practice to deal with the rebalancing. Nice. I'll jump yep. right in. I'll just quickly say that you know, ne ne next round will be uh, rainbow free because I won't be here. Mm -hmm. Um. I'll be out of town with, for Christmas, but uh, yeah, there'll be more room left for the uh, for more players. Yeah. Hey, no problem, man. You, well, when we have uh, the next one in January, then um, definitely have you on board for that. But uh, happy holidays to anybody who won't be here for the uh, next session. And um, that's it for me, you guys. I hope you all have a great night. Oh, uh, yeah. Happy fifth yep. anniversary. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Yep. I really appreciate happy anniversary. the anniversary. Happy anniversary wishes for Gundam at MHQ. And, uh, Fellas, I hope y'all have a great night. Take it easy. And thanks All for having right. me. See you later, man. See you, so, bro. Later. Peace. Later, y'all. Man, that was an awesome time, guys. Shout out to the stream. Everybody who came out to watch the stream tonight, watching the archives. Um, for the guys who don't know, I am Sobo Ryu. I'm a host, one of the hosts of Gundam at MHQ, which is a mecha anime podcast that you can find at Gundam.net. Um, you can also find it at mahq.net, which is the Mecha and Anime headquarters, and um, that is our home base for our show as well as for another podcast, which is Chaos Theater, which you can find at chaostheater.blogspot.com. Uh, join the conversation at mechatalk.net, which is the forums of MAHQ, and also um, fa the Facebook group that we have as well as uh, facebook.com slash groups slash mahq1. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter at the following Twitter handles that you see down there at the bottom. Uh, also, 
Gundam is produced, and this stream is produced by Shinjuku Station Podcasting, which is the group that I belong to. And these are all the websites that you can go to for that. Um, I won't run down all of them, but um, definitely just take a note of that or pause the video to see that uh, at your leisure. Um, and again, we'll be having our next session for Gundam Extreme Versus on December 20th. Um, there's a p plenty of important details here, like uh, the PSN that I use, which is Gundam at MHQ. If you want to get in on the next session, add me as a friend. Um, also, if you haven't done it yet, please hit the follow button here um, on Twitch for us. Um, it'll help us become a partner in the future. And um, also, uh, add Shinjuku Dash Station on Skype in order to become part of the Skype conversation. Um, you're already doing it. You're watching us live at twitch.tv slash fighters ready. And for those who are watching the archives, um, and for those who don't know about where the archives will go, they're up at youtube.com slash Gundam at MHQ. Or Gundam MHQ, I should say. And um, many thanks to everybody who just came out to watch and play today. And I, I we can't do it without you guys. And I'm glad that slowly but surely we're building a scene for this. Um, I know there was already a scene before we got started. Thanks to like other streams like Unlimited Brett Works and... Um, Gundam, uh, Gundam Versus as well. I think that's a stream as well. But uh, many shout outs to them. They've been holding this game down since it came out. And um, I hope we can add to that as well. But um, everybody, y'all have a good night. I'm going to let Char set you guys free. And um, be easy. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. It's been a lot of fun, but, well, I guess that's all. ジオニックトヨタ。